Right now. Dude, sometimes when we're recording, I point like this. Like, yes, I point hold just on, like hold this. Hold on, hold on, No, no, not, oh, oh, no! The warrior dog. So, hey, everybody, I'm Tony, my pronouns are they, them. Oh, God, I'm Mal, my pronouns are also they, them. I'm Fiona, my pronouns are they. I'm Chaz, and... I'm here. All right, that's great. There he so is. we're doing a uh, New Year's a third video. Third try at starting this video. <laughs> third? I think this is third the today. It, it might be the fourth. Uh, <laughs> we had a bit of an issue. We've already recorded this, so I apologize if it issue. seems that we're retraining ground because Just for us we are. I, we had a horrible technical issue, which I know you mm -hmm. want to hear all about, but you won't. So something that I wanted to do was talk about previous games that we've played this year on the channel. I know I'm just steamrolling forward um, over the course of this year because, uh, you know, it's good to look back, see what we've done. Like, what's the first video that we've uh, that we re recorded? Um, what was the first video we recorded? Uh, well, let's get to that. And we're going to do a couple things at the end as well. So the first video that we recorded was... Uh, or at least release. Oh. Life is Strange at Before the Storm episode 17. I thought it was 18. That it was it was 17. Can we check that? Okay. Can no. we check that in the Should the we playlist? look at that right now? We should probably evaluate that. Yeah, now. are you sure we shouldn't get get in in on this? No, in, we're, into this? Oh god. No. Okay, no. We're not we're not going to check this out. But you uh, brought this upon yourself, Tony. <laughs> no, no. I we had three perfectly fine starts. <laughs> but so it was that so was life, the first video so of the life year. So Life is Strange Before the storm uh makes me go mm, uh, mixed feelings mm, uh, no I, no i wouldn't say mixed <laughs> mal and i did not have a good time playing that game yeah. uh-huh well no that's not true we had a good time playing like the first 10 to 15 minutes yeah no there were some really good <laughs> moments in that game and but the overall <laughs> it was not enjoyable everything up to press start for me <laughs> personally no, I, so here's there. the thing. If you Asterisk. like Life is Strange, that's great. We didn't like Life we is Strange. We didn't like Life is Strange. So I don't know. It's, I, I felt the same way about the first game. That's the reason why we're not playing the second one. Um, I'm gonna, wow. I'm going to skip the song that's in the background right now. Good. I know. Uh, we're pursuing our true selves by trolling Tony. Speaking of pursuing our and true now selves, we're gothic. the next game that we played was your royal gayness. Your, your royal gothic. <laughs> cue, the, cue the organ. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, your royal gayness was awesome. Um, yeah, it was just a really good game from a friend of ours um, who is uh, also a patron of the channel, which is great. Um, they're wonderful. Um, and it's, it's this wonderful mesh of they make good things and we try to make good things. And wait, should I be? Should I be? Same affiliations on the. Uh, wait, hold on. We're like a probably. news outlet, right? I think I so. Who care? What? Okay. I, and by that, I mean we're going to obscure our relation to these other channels and the kickback money we get. For someone right. who's so particular. It's not like an ethical news channel. Like we're there's no transparency here. Uh, so speaking of no transparency, we stand for opacity. <laughs> It was very transparent to me. Just yeah, just how good of a game it was. It was mm -hmm. just a really good visual novel yeah. slash like a RPG light, which was really nice. Mm -hmm. And I, I really appreciate that uh, with all of Lizard Hazard Games games, there's like a mechanic to it. Something's going on. I don't know what it's gonna be, but it's always <laughs> gonna be something weird every time. See, I don't usually play games with mechanics. Yeah, and so it was like it was nice to have something that had like car repair light simulator. mechanics. Yes, hmm. except for except for car repair simulator. You're I right. Know. Like it's I I generally don't like visual novels, but like I that's like fair. the royal games quite a bit. I mean, do you generally like romance? Uh, I, that's I a question. Yeah, I like romance. Yeah, that's true. I like okay. What about bromance? What, what about bromance? Tony? What about bromance? Uh, or was that Chess of Blades? These... That was technically Chess of Blades, which we'll get to. In a <laughs> we'll minute. get to because uh, right now we're talking about Fran Bo and. That was that was a pretty good game that Chaz and I played. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was really interesting. Um, I feel for me, it, it was one like a one of the more moderate. Um, it, it was a bit longer than I thought, and I think at some point the themes and tone kind of wore on me. Mm -hmm. But in the last five or the last latter half, it goes like some really crazy, like out there locations and stuff that really uh, uh, kind of turned it around and we got my interest. Like really weird stuff. It, it, it was not just a horror game with those like blood and look people are crazy. Whoa. Oh. Which I was very concerned it was turning into probably the first section where I was like mm -hmm. I can get into this person. It's crazy. Everything's horrible. Fair enough. Um, but it went places. It went really interesting crazy places and that kind of kept me on it. I'm normally not a big fan of like more point and click adventure style games. 
But um, get me interested. There's mm-hmm. enough stuff going on mm-hmm. there. That cool. uh, speaking of things that don't keep people interested, Chaz and I then rated every PlayStation <laughs> avatar. Oh my god! One of my actual Somehow. personal favorite. Uh, <laughs> I know, uh, me too. On this channel, because it's just such a ridiculous concept. We were literally sitting after a thing recording Frambo. Yes. And we were just, just shooting the shit because I didn't want to head home yet or whatever. And we just started talking about PlayStation avatars and like the setting system, and it just organically grew from wow. that. Like. Um, um, I mean, I don't how know drunk who, were you two? I don't think we were really that drunk. I think we were tired. It was late. But yeah, it was I, like just real bizarre because no other channel that I know of is done. I, I, I it's the most unique content prob- on our channel. Probably for good reason they haven't done it. What do you I, think, Mel? I think they were probably pretty loopy and like really excited about the idea of we need to we need to save this for the channel that literally we're happened. saying so Tony many was funny like, things Stop, right we need now to save this for the channel <laughs> which happens which is a our conversation <laughs> Now, Butterfly Soup, we didn't actually play. We didn't play this uh, year. In 2018. Which so. makes me sad because I would love to talk about it for thousands of years. Yeah, I, I could just talk about Butterfly mm-hmm, Soup mm-hmm. for a really long time. I could also watch a really long time's worth of Monster Hunter World Beta. See, it's hard making the transitions, isn't it, Mal? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just have a speech impediment. Oh, I mean, that's fair. Uh, it, yeah, Monster Hunter World, it's great. Chaz and I like it a lot. Um, it's a good game. We, it's fucking awesome. We did very I poorly like in that it. beta. Fiona did not like <laughs> I didn't, it. Oh, yeah. It wasn't really for me. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was my oh, first yeah, the, time playing a Monster the, Hunter. The videos that we made about Monster Hunter mm-hmm. oh, yeah. are not my favorite Monster Hunter content. <laughs> Absolutely not. I was running around like, how does this guy, because the game is very clunky. While, while with uh-huh. the, the visual change to the PS4, it looks much more organic, but the mechanics are definitely still not that. Mm-hmm. Yep. So it's trying to, a lot of it, I think, is me trying to reconcile like the lack of actual movement abilities, which I'm very used to, and like, how it is MMO-ish in a lot of ways in terms mm-hmm. of like the, the the cycle of materials you get and the gameplay itself, um, but still awesome. You get to hunt monsters and then you make get, giant foods. You know. uh, and then you also get to hunt monsters and getting over it with Bennett Foddy, no, but the don't. monster is your own ability to control the character. Ah. Mm. <laughs> I think that might make the monster the game itself. Uh, well, no, the monster is Bennett Foddy. Whenever you the fall game. down, the monster is the friends we met along the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, th- I think, uh, I th- yeah, all three of you at some point or another have played mm-hmm. Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy with me, yeah. and I've gotten quite a bit further in it, and including a live stream, if I remember correctly, from the last time we recorded this video. I, th- I think mm-hmm. I may have done two live streams of it or something. I, I think that's true, yeah. actually. Yeah, which you can access here if you're a $5 patron or higher on our Patreon. And it's just a good <laughs> game. It's like, it's just it's just good. I, I really appreciate it. I haven't seen a speedrun yet, which Fiona keeps telling me yeah, are amazing. It's pretty yeah, fun. it sounds fun fucking cool as it's hell. It's watching Flashing someone back. just demolish the game in a couple minutes. Wow. He did it twice. He actually played through twice in his allotted time because he had so much time. <laughs> like, oh, hey, let me try again. Uh, but yeah, and so I haven't seen that yet because I have ambitions of one day beating it, which I won't because I'm not good enough. So uh, another Sounds game right. that I am good enough to beat, though, is Goragoa. Wow. Mm-hmm. What a good game. Gorgoa is like just a sublime ass puzzle game. Yeah, it's like so intriguing and like visually beautiful and like it's like saturated with goodness. Yeah, I'm I'm very pleased that we played it. It's mm-hmm. it's it's very short too, which I like. Yes. I like short good games. I'd much rather have that over a long good game that aren't difficult and don't involve like skills or thinking yeah it's yes. it, it's it's <laughs> yeah well okay hold on that's not true it does involve thinking and that's evidence I mean by a little like, bit there's like there is there are several cuts in there where we had to um <laughs> i'm thinking of one in particular where it's like 20 minutes of of us off camera being like why did we pick a puzzle game for the channel <laughs> that was a horrible idea mm-hmm. uh, speaking of short and quick uh we also played ultimate chicken horse that was a. Uh, uh, Brian, Chaz, uh, no, no, there's Chaz, no, no, there's no Brian. So, sorry, I thought I thought of Brian, who we'll get to in a little bit. Oh, no, I, I, I liked Brian. Ultimate Chicken Horse a lot. Though. Yeah, I really yes. liked captioning those videos because I got to like participate, sort of. Well, it's it's this awesome like part of a, the genre of these games. There's a couple of them we played on the channel this previous year. Um, 
that kind of harken back to more of that couch co-op, and I think is best experienced in that way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah um, it's just responsive, silly, fun. We run around and not a lot of thoughts into it, but it's just mm-hmm. just a great little platformer in this case, and mm-hmm. then like some more party game. I don't yeah, know. it's it's yeah. a really good party game. I actually played it last night over at a at a New Year's party. Ooh. It, <laughs> like it was it was just really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, Freddy Faz Foz Fazbear Fazbear probably Fazbear. Uh, it's Fazbear. <laughs> Pizzeria Simulator. That I mean it was fun. Fun, but it was just another nightmare at Freddy's or I don't get the five Freddy's it was thing. it was fun if you consider my soul leaving my body several times fun. Yeah, well yeah, I not mean, in a good way. Okay, actually <laughs> you will you will see me getting a great amount of delight, particularly in in the second episode, uh-huh. just freaking out Mal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was freaking out, sure. Mm, yep. But my true joy comes when I can freak out my co-hosts. Um, but I wasn't able to freak out anyone when uh, Undertale was played, which was you and uh, Fiona and Mal. Yeah. yeah. So good. Oh, yeah. So good. I, mean, I loved it. It's been my favorite game for a long time, and it probably will I be. managed to mostly avoid any major spoilers mm-hmm. before I had played it, which was a miracle in and of itself. Absolutely. But it was super good. Like, yeah. By far, I should really play through it at home yeah, to get the other endings. It's amazing and, stuff. and beautiful, and that's all you need to know. Yeah, there's there's actually not that much beyond that. Yeah, <laughs> and the press a to gay trivia for Undertale is it's the first video that did not involve Tony. Oh. Yeah, oh. and it's like one of the very few series. I think I'm in almost every video. We really started. Are in. I think we started Dune without you. Uh huh. We ended up having what? a lot of difficulties with Dune. What? Yeah, we we played oh. through a lot of Dune and recorded a few episodes before we were like, this fucking sucks. And then we <laughs> scrapped all of that and came back to record again. And you were like, I actually want to be involved. In time let's do it whip cut yeah. to the hunter killer drone yeah <laughs> exactly fuck i i really <laughs> just put like five seconds of just that video in because it's beautiful yeah no Shout i did to, be so happy to no, one of I the did. best videos from right. the previous all right, year yeah I, I did all right and <laughs> speaking of Ba-ba. no no i just yes, no, blades uh don't worry, I'm taking out the music that we're listening to right now. I'm putting another music. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, we played Chess of Blades, Fiona and I. I did not like that game at all. It's just not for me. That's just... But, but I know so... it's for other people. Like, it seemed to be fairly well executed. People enjoyed watching it. Right, it's one of our more popular series, which is a little upsetting, but... Um, <laughs> uh, fine. Jeez, yes, I'm please gonna, change I'm this. I'm going to change the music right now. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, we also played game. West of Loathing, which was good. Yeah, it was good and fun. Yeah, I, I played more of it. I almost beat it, but I just kind of dropped it for some reason or another, which is unusual for me when I get to like the like the final act of a game. But mm. hmm. but it's a it's a fun game, partner. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> now, Dandara <laughs> is fantastic. Dandara, yes. really good ass game. I'm glad Fiona and I played it. Um, like I finished the game and then immediately was like, Fiona, we gotta play Dandara. Oh yeah, I've played quite a bit of it on my own, but yeah, the controls mm. take a bit to get used to. Yeah, for right. sure. It's very unique, and I think that's really good. It is. I mean, it has uh, like maybe three, like like straight up some of the best video game soundtrack uh, songs I've heard in a long time. Just like all three of them are just like yes. You There's get only into a three zone. Songs? Well, I mean, it has more than three songs, uh, okay. but. Like, those three in particular stand out. Right. Uh, another game that really stood out was The Path, which was myself, Fiona, oh and Mal. Mm. That was just, that was fucking weird. It was weird. Mm. Like, like describe it. Someone describe it in a sentence. A single sentence. <sighs> a bad horror walking simulator? But you th- oh, you think it was bad, though? The Little Red Riding Hood. I mean... Hood, understanding your grandmother through allegory of a swing set. Is, uh-huh. I believe, how it was put earlier? Yes. <laughs> yes. Like the Thank idea you for remembering the funny algorithm. thing that I said the first time that I could not remember. <laughs> wow. I really appreciate that. That truly was a hilarious video we all made. We <laughs> sure did make a really funny first video. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I kind of liked it, but the controls were not good or well explained. To, to the point and where... So we were just wandering. The game was lot. not well explained. To be yes. Fair. But it, do we think that was the intent of the game? No. N- no. Oh. I think a little guidance would have helped. <laughs> yeah, even just a little bit. Yeah. Just, it's, just... There's something special about a game when, like, it's me playing it and one of you can feel the bad controls. Yes. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> Yes. Uh, oh God, we didn't. I did not like Mario vs. Donkey no, Kong. No, not bad controls, just like 
they're probably challenging Whatever. if you're a small child. Yeah, I mean, it's just like a like like a Ritz cracker of games, right? Like delicious. Like, <laughs> I mean, because it's got Mario and Donkey Kong in no, it, it's right? The but it's just a, it's just. Oh God, a why? <laughs> Oh, it's not it's, Ritz, it's Townhouse. Okay. Yeah, it was it was it was not Ritz good. Ritz is so mm-hmm. buttery. It was it was part of the Donkey I mean, Kongathon, which which we'll get to. Mm-hmm. Well, I know I'm not seeing the way that the videos were released or the way I updated the playlist that we haven't hit any Chaz videos for a long yes. time. No chitty. Nor will we, it appears. <laughs> <laughs> um so we also played Rhyme uh, for a let's look on the weekend, just mm-hmm. a couple videos, Mal, Fiona and I, and I keep knocking I'm so excited with my knee, I keep knocking my microphone mm-hmm. in my face. Your knees are so excitable. But they are excitable rhyme was okay like it was fine it was good mm-hmm. you know it's it's like an adventure game yeah like a little indie adventure game which mm-hmm. are cool when you yeah. feel like adventuring yeah yeah it's i mean it was just yeah, it was fine I, i'm did never it, gonna was complete it, in the PlayStation it. 4, was it one of the playstation 4 free games that's the so. only reason that we did yeah. it. <laughs> Uh, uh, which is fine. Like, I paid nothing and I had enjoyment out of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. No, go ahead, Mal. It sounded like you were about to transition. I was really just going to say I fucking love the shit out of What Remains of the Finch. Uh, yes, that is that is a good it's ass game. It's a good game. ass game. Did you play the original or the remake? Uh, the remake. Okay. Remake. Oh, no, no. You're thinking original? Of, no, you're thinking of Dear Esther, I think. No, they... I looked on Steam after we talked the other day, oh. and there's a... They fixed the the developer went back and made a bunch of kind of quality of life changes to the game and released it for free to everyone who has it. So the game can so like, in Steam, there's two versions of it now, and one of them's like the remake. So one of the games can like afford their rent now because they got like I a guess, cost of yeah. living adjustment. Okay. Yeah. And uh, that <laughs> developer is also <laughs> currently making a, a game called Witchfire, which I'm quite excited for. Witchfire lies in the books. Uh, probably not because I haven't heard of the books. Oh. But it's 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 this very interesting. Um, it's, it's a first-person shooter, but it's like in a gothic horror Ooh. style thing. It looks really interesting. Hmm. It's still some time until okay. release, but uh, I, I, I we're not to head. this portion of the video yet, not, Chaz. Not, well, 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 we'll get there. Well, anyways, one quick thing I want to say about what remains to be a Finch. It has, in my opinion, one of the best use of a gameplay mechanic that feels good that also actively tells the story mm-hmm. of, of the game, which is what games should aspire and to. And it doesn't feel contrived stories. in any way. It doesn't. Yeah. It's it's okay. like, this makes sense. And yeah. what didn't make sense... And that's your mime companion. My mime companion? Yeah. Mind. Oh, Oh no no no! Chad's talking about the mime companion. Yeah, and, 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 and what remains of sorry, it's big oh. spoilers. So, uh, <laughs> Gang Beasts, meanwhile, was a game that had a horrible technical issue after uh, that we were, um, ended up mm-hmm. with words. Mm. Basically, yep. I needed a better CPU, and thanks to our Patreon patrons, I have a better CPU. Yeah, you got yeah. the puke grade. Do you the, say the, the puke grade? Puke grade. Pute. Pute. I thought it was the cup grade. Oh, well, that was the cube grade. Oh, CPU up. Oh, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> Gang Beast is really fun. Gang Another Gang... one of those, like, chaotic party games mm. that feels really good like, and is really fun to play. sit on your couch with your friends. Yep. Yeah, that's Absolutely. why, I mean, even with the horrible technical difficulty, like, we had so much fun and the videos were so good that we released it anyway. So, like, play it. I mean, I think Ultimate Horse Chicken, Ultimate has, Chicken Horse? has the edge just because you get random monsters <laughs> or mm. random animals. See, I didn't play that one, so. Uh, it's... I mean, the outfits in Gang Beasts are good, but mm-hmm. being but able to you're play right, a Fiona. horse is pretty That's outstanding. It's true. It's true. Uh, well, and I like the very collaborative nature of Ultimate Chicken Horse, mm-hmm. where like you're placing the objects and creating the actual level around yourself. Right, you right. It. Um, I guess going back to talk more about that game, because it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely good. Maybe that's just Gang what we Beast should do. Gang Beasts is good, too. But... Anytime we come upon a game that we didn't truly enjoy, we'll just talk about a different one. Uh, <laughs> speaking of which, Qbert rebooted. We only played that, Fiona and I, because it was free on PlayStation. Well, I, play, I have a lot of like good feelings about Kubert from when I was a kid, right. uh-huh. and this did not translate <laughs> well. I imagine like games that. have come a long way since the 1970s. Uh-huh. It turns out, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so I've heard. Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time turned out oh, to be a great yes. time. I, fun. It was a it was a kick. It was nice. That was one of those awesome multiplayer like the, the collaborative, like, the collaborative nature other. of just yelling and mm-hmm. trying to Star Trek a big stupid spaceship, mm-hmm. making um, sick dunks on Mal. Yeah, everyone's it's ganging purely up on cooperative. Me. Yeah, it yes. is purely cooperative, which is and its own good thing. Yeah, and it's You're really right. fun. Yeah, so I'm. I, yeah, I don't have much else to say about that other than like if you if you have until a, somebody mute if you, you have friends guys. if you have friends at all. <laughs> like you could play this game, isn't that great? Wow! Uh, we also played Battle Chef Brigade. That was Chaz and I. Uh, yes, Chaz, I think we Baxter. played the. Uh, was it the full release or was it a demo? 
Uh, we played the full release for three episodes. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, uh, game I actually backed on Kickstarter when it was first released because he just loved cooking, right? And just a really solid, uh, fun action take on some basic puzzle elements that kind of wrap itself in a delightful Iron Chef RPG experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's all there is to say about it, except the, also the art's good. Yeah, the art's mm, really it's good. good art. It's cute. Uh, Mal and I played skate the Skate and Date demo, which is a demo that was sent to us by one of our viewers yeah. who made it. Uh, and they were a high schooler, and they uh, were kickstarted this game, and they wanted some exposure for it, and we gave them, like, maybe a single view, which is great. Uh, that was a joke. Um it was at least that, two views. That, it's hilarious. It was possibly Tony. three views. Fucking shit. Uh, it, it, it was just. It was, it's good. Um, I'm oh, excited yeah, to see really how the game comes out. Yeah. It's, yeah. I'm. I'm sure it's being developed as we speak. Mm -hmm. Literally. Yeah. Uh, Chaz and I took a look at. Uh, we're gonna do two of these at once. Yak is a zero, and Yak is a Kiwami. Mm. It was brilliant. It was uh, a lot of the fun uh, karaoke and all that stuff. Um, that series is a series that I've recently, I guess, in the year of 2018, uh, discovered and really began to enjoy because this perfect combination of. Uh, ridiculous all of it's ridiculous but like incredible earnestness which i think uh yes. is amazing mm -hmm. and just over the top combat and stupid punching and just melodrama mm -hmm. it's it's fantastic mm -hmm. i mean the thumbnail for yakuza zero is like hello chicken <laughs> i will name you <laughs> nuggets right <laughs> Uh, Chaz, or not Chaz, I'm mixing all my friends. Brian. Uh, Brian uh, made his first official debut in the Sexy Brutal. He was earlier briefly in um, an intern our... in Peril and Pemberley. Yes, in our Peril and Pemberley <laughs> playthrough. But Brian and I played the Sexy Brutal, um, which is a game that is so fantastic, except for the gameplay. <laughs> is that like the turn based? One where you're trying to take over buildings and stuff? Am I mistaken? No, the Sexy Brutal is that you're in a big sort of mansion called the Sexy Brutal. Mm -hmm. um, and you have you're you and several guests have been invited there and you need to f figure out ways using time rewinding and Groundhog's Day stuff to make so people don't all die. <laughs> But right, like, it's like a survive the spooky haunted place overnight. Yeah, more or less, and it's just not like the gameplay just doesn't hold up. So that's that's too bad. Um, we we play, I played further into it after the fact. Anyways, that's that's my thought on that. Uh, Fiona, I really enjoyed Snake Pass when we play it together. It was it was unique in its like control mechanisms, and it seemed like it'd be a fun game. I mean, I only. I didn't play it on my own after mm -hmm. that. I don't know if you did. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I did. I have only a little bit further to go until oh, I beat cool. the game. It only got better. Okay. Like it's, it yeah. introduced a bunch of weird new mechanics. The platforming got harder, but not frustrating. So, yeah. I don't know, like just a little bit further to go. It has almost my best thumbnail, but I fucked up and put us both on the bottom left instead of on either side. Yes. Yeah, that so was when I was doing the old style thumbnail. But anyways. Mm. Uh, Brian and I later played Momodora Reverie Under the Moonlight, which is a great game in so many ways. Uh, highly recommend it. It's a good Metroidvania. Um, Except for the bad parts. Uh, well, I mean, the, like the single like giant burst merging thing is that what the, the I think the first or second boss you fight is you're slapping like a bog, which is giant tits, which is like, like, come on. Yeah, like, like, why? But otherwise, it's a really good game and I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. um, the Momodora games in general are quite good. Uh, now, we we also played Donkey Kong Country 2, which yes. uh, mostly Mal and I played. I think, Fiona, you were there a little bit, and then mm -hmm. I live. So, well, and it was specifically the Lost Levels. Yes, yes, you're right. It was mm -hmm. Donkey Kong Country 2, the <laughs> Lost Levels, because we, Mal and I played Donkey Kong Country 2. It was the 2. very first game we played together on the channel. It was in, you know, that's a great game. It's one of my favorite games. Uh -huh. um, so playing the Lost Levels is great. It's a fan mod that's, in general, just way harder. Yeah. So I actually felt really great in that, like, um, a while after uh, beating the, a little while after beating the lost levels, which which felt fantastic by the way, mm -hmm. I went back and played the base Donkey Kong Country two, and I was like, wow, I'm actually super good at this. <laughs> nice. Now. Uh, here's Life is Strange Before the Storm. Ugh. Ugh, yeah, it's fine. And then uh, we played Faith of. <sighs> Which yes. was Mal and myself playing the original Faith. The game is free, first of all, so really go check so it out. So please go play. Fun it. and it's so scary and so good. And again, it's short. It's short. It does not overstay the welcome. And does not require skills. 
Yeah, like it, like you're it's just walking about. You just kind of slowly clues. figure it out, and yeah. it's a good story. And um, I'm really excited for chapter two. Scary oh, yeah. monsters. If you can handle scary games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm. It has some <laughs> amazing rotoscoping. Check yeah, it it's so good. Yes. All right. Uh, can uh, someone tell me about the Donkey Kongathon? Uh, I will, since I was there for most <laughs> of, if not all of it. Yeah, you were there for all uh, of it. We love, we love that good, big, big, big old monkey. You know. For very specific reasons. And what reasons are those? He has a tie. It's so fun. Oh, I see. It's yeah. just the tie. Okay, yeah. So we decided to mm, do like a fun tasting of all the Donkey Kong games <laughs> that we could. And it turns out it most was delicious. of them. Well, in a kind of a weird way. Well, in my opinion, <laughs> Donkey Kong has a pretty solid 50 50 when it comes to good games and bad games. Mm -hmm. Donkey Kong Jr., like. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. John Kong Jr. may be good for its time. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. Uh, we had one game in there that we played in particular was uh, the Game Boy version of the original Donkey Kong, which is greatly expanded upon, mm -hmm. and, and it's more of a puzzle really platformer. Fun. Yeah, yeah, it's it's actually just a really fun game, and the Mario vs. Donkey Kong is sort of a spiritual successor to that game. And it's not fun at all. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> it took all the worst aspects of it and made them worse. Uh -huh. Anyways, consider playing the original Game Boy Donkey Kong. It's quite good. Um, also, quite good is Valhalla. Mal and yeah. I played this together. Yay. One of, I think, my longest series. All forty-one episodes. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But oh. it was good. Yeah, yeah. It definitely had some flaws that we expressed a lot in the videos. <laughs> yeah, but o overall, like I'd I'd heartily recommend it. Yeah, to it's just really about fun, anybody. especially if you like like cyberpunk dystopia games mm. and can't play first person shooters. And ag <laughs> and again, it's just enough. It has just enough um, non standardized uh, visual novel gameplay mechanics. That was a sentence mm -hmm. um, that it keeps me interested. And right, keeps me mm. playing. Yeah. Um, uh, we played Devil May Cry, Fiona and I. Yes, character mm -hmm. action game. I've never played a Devil May Cry game. Oh. Or really a character action game. Oh, it, wow. it, it holds up. Yeah. It, it, this game came out in, what, 2001? I, I think. Well, I what, think so. Yeah, like, what? wasn't this the re... Wasn't this like a remaster or something? A remaster? We didn't play the oh, original. Oh, original yeah, so, we? yeah, so we played, we played a remaster. And, and the, you know, this is the game that was... Like born out of uh, this, like uh, it was going to be Resident Evil 4, but it wasn't, and it, it all just, it all just turned into this big old thing, and it's surprising how well it holds up, basically. I fucking love the shit out of that game. Yeah, it's Hell yeah. good stuff. Yeah, big, big old fan. Um, I also played Far Lone Sales with uh, Chaz and Mal, who were drunk. We were very drunk. We were which, very drunk. <laughs> which is a, a bit of a, I mean, I think there's only two or three I videos. It was like a bit of a departure from our usual. Yeah, there, there are a couple videos where Chaz and I are very drunk. That's but true. They're yeah. few and far between. Yeah, and and speaking of far, so far yeah, as Tony knows. I so far. Are you trying to work the word far into these sentences? Because you're, it's working. <laughs> Sorry, take the wind out of your sails. Oh my oh, god, what? alone. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I finished it later off camera, and mm. it's yeah, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's solid. You know, I I like it. Yeah, it's. Um, it's not, it doesn't have like the intense impact like in a post inside world, but it's still pretty good. Yeah. Can we please sail to the next game? Speaking oh. of curses oh. of the moon. <laughs> Speaking of curses after I just made a <laughs> horrific joke. Uh, Al and I played Bloodstained Curse of the Mood. I love Castlevania. It was really fucking fun. It's like a better version of Castlevania. It, it's, yeah, kind of. It kind of is a yeah. better version of Castlevania. <laughs> nice. Mm-hmm. That's that's pretty much all there is to say. That uh -huh. I, go go play the. I, mean, I like Metroidvania as a genre. Oh yeah. So that's the tag I use on Steam when it's like winter sale. I'm like, oh okay. Oh, mm -hmm. but, but so that's the thing. This is not a Metroidvania. This is um. Metroidvania. No, no. This is just like an old ass Castlevania game. It's in the style before they did Metroidvania. No, but it's still a Metroidvania. No, it's not. It is. No. What? It I bet you five dollars that that game is tagged Metroidvania okay. on Steam. Okay. Okay. Well, well, on Steam like. <laughs> Like, like Harry's pepper pizza <laughs> delivery is tagged as like nightmare porn or something like awful like that. And Whoa. Don't what? look at Tony's I don't search think history. that's true. I, I, because that's all my recommended games to play, <laughs> and I have a very really or all the nightmare porn games that come out. <laughs> of course you are, Chess. You enjoyed Agony, which no one did. Uh, <laughs> minute, uh, minute, minute's like the opposite of Agony. It's it is. It's just good. Like each time you sit down to play, or like, like it's just like, oh, 
I just have a tiny 60 second quest. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's almost like a bunch of micro games in a way. The so, world yeah. records is sub five minutes. Wow. Just so you know. Damn. Yeah, it's a really I watched, fun game. I watched the GDQ because I watched a lot of GDQ. Apparently. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. But like the guy did it on cam in five. Wow. Five flat. Wow. Shit. That's fun. It's so great. cool. Like it's a fun game. Like totally have fun with it. There's no consequences. Oh, yeah. Like it's great. You just like play mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of a quick thirty-second adventure, uh -huh. oh, was full that of segue? consequences. Segue? Boy, what, what, Chaz has a lot of segues that involve very short periods of time. <laughs> well, I mean, is Stick Fight the game a thirty-second adventure? No. I think every individual match will take around thirty seconds. Then mm. we'll transition to the next Stick level. You know, that's true. Maybe even less than thirty seconds. <laughs> Usually, they end very fast. Yes. Like, very probably. quickly. Yeah, uh -huh. it's, and just another good couch uh, couch multiplayer game. Yeah, it's really highly, fun. highly recommended. Um, it's a, it's got a thing where no matter how good you are at the game, I you can still make a noticeable outcome mm -hmm. in the winner, whether it's going to be you or someone else. Right. Which I think is great in a game that's skill based. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, it's great for those of us who are bad at games. Mm. Like I mean, like myself. Right. And so well, it's fairly simple. It's bad. got like three buttons. Like, <laughs> or evil, I guess. Yeah, I was gonna say this is not bad. It's a good right. game, but it's about bad things happening. Right. <laughs> oh, faith too. It's. It's haunted, mm. basically. Mm. Yes. Yeah, uh, we played uh, the Faith Chapter 2 demo. Um, first, I think Mal, Chaz, and I, and then Chaz and I in uh -huh. the second episode when we did a full playthrough. That was kind of a weird... I don't know why we divided it that way. I don't but either. It, it, was it was just the demo, but quite good. But amazing. It kind of doubles down on a lot of the concepts of the first Faith. And maybe goes a little bit further, a little mm -hmm. bit more advanced things, but really interesting. I'm super excited to see the, uh, the full release. Yeah. Absolutely. Into the Breach is... One of my favorite games. Really fun uh, that tactical I've game. This year. It's a, I have gotten every achievement, which I don't really do, but I mostly did it because uh, with um, what shoot, what is it, uh, way better games, far better games. Uh, way forward. Things? No, not way forward. Anyways, whatever the developer, I forget. Um, they did this with their previous game, uh, Faster Than Light FTL, and they did an Into the Breach, where each if you get more achievements, you unlock more teams, and that's yeah. all I need. And it's just more fun. Yeah, yeah and it's, yeah. There's so many combinations. The, the something that really stands out in the game is that you can clearly understand if you just stare at it long enough exactly what's going to happen next turn because everything is told to you, no matter despite how complex the game is. Mm. So it's anyways. good if you like advance the win advance wars type mm, games. Right, like yeah. remember, if, right. I don't know if you guys played those. But yeah, I've played yeah. A yeah. Uh, that. I've definitely watched somebody play a shitload of them. Yeah, so it's I I play it quite a bit actually. Yeah, I believe <laughs> in you. my own time. It's fun. Uh, oh, another game oh, that Ms. I was not Clue. involved in. Oh, yeah. Trials of Salem. No, no, oh, get the full boy. title. Get the full Ms. title. Miss Clue, colon. Jane Austen, Jane Austen Mysteries. Mysteries presents, colon, Trials of Salem, colon. And the, Knuckles. And Knuckles. <laughs> from the Devil May Cry series. Slash the Witch's Curse. Uh, yeah. It was. <laughs> I've never played one, so it was my introduction to that type of game. And it was a fun time. <laughs> I wouldn't say it is a good game by any yes. means, but it was a, it was a goofy goof em ups fest yeah. with me and Fee. We had I, we so. did some voices. It was fun. oh yeah, we did some voices <laughs> coming off of that Undertale. Oh my god, Mal's, yeah, we did. Mal's some Undertale voices. performance is outstanding. Thank if you. you all have not seen it, <laughs> I, I think I spent the first uh, the first recording session of Miss Clue Trials and. Pemberley colon whatever uh just cackling just in my room as i was playing like my vita or something hearing youtube just, just listening to us yelling just, oh, just yelling i just yeah. remembered what happened we played through like two hours of the oh, game yeah. and i didn't realize you had to manually and save we closed it. and we closed the game oh, no. up so we had to completely oh. redo like a couple hours of that game and tony came in yeah. and rescued us at some point right and just like hit hit the enter <laughs> button over and over and over and over again or the space bar well, yeah. Because you can press the space bar and click at the same time. So they're just like, Anyways. it just like goes through. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Think of trying to start over. Uh, we. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, Chaz. Uh, Chaz, Mal, and I played the Yog, Yog. which oh, hell yeah. I love and adore the Yog. Uh -huh. uh, Chaz and I it's played a it. The monster prom. Uh, no, sh no, shut no. up. No, Chaz and I played this um, uh, quite a long time ago, and then Mal and I played it, mm -hmm. and then uh, the three of us played it together. It's it's just a really good game. It has incredible art, super fun choices. It's mm -hmm. super funny, and it feels like um, it feels like something new is happening every time. And in the video we were recording, I we we saw new content that I I'd never seen. Oh before. yeah, same, mm -hmm. definitely. Which which surprised me considering how much I played this mm -hmm. game. So that that's really great. So is it as queer as Monster Prom? 
Because I really liked Monster Prom, yeah. but I've never played yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah I think so. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, yeah, it's cool. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I think I had one final thing to say about Oh, yeah, Emily, Emily Carroll. Carroll. Um, one of my favorite web comic artists. She's an incredible... And regular comic artist. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And regular comic <laughs> artist. She's uh, like just incredible horror... Um, sometimes a little funny, mm -hmm. sometimes cute. The content. D yes. The, the good content. <laughs> the, it's just. She it, is having. Uh, my, uh, younger brother and I played Rayman Legends for wow. an episode. That's fun. Didn't we all play Rayman? No. We played a different Rayman. I see. The yes, three of us. yes, you're thinking you have a different Rayman. That, last, that was last year. That was last year. It was year. last year. Or last, last year. Yes. Mm. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, it's 2019. No. Uh, and we also played Chaz Mal and I everything. everything. <laughs> um, it I have nothing to say about it. Yeah, it's it's it was it was cool. It's I think it's almost more of like a uh, interesting learning tool than a game in some ways. If yeah. you have like an evening and you're by yourself and you're willing to just kind of go around and listen you just to like an impromptu like go to lecture, the flow, go with the flow, you know, <laughs> like flow. Yeah. I, I mean, like the I, universe. It's, and like it's worth checking out. Also, I did not understand the mechanics and how to like change levels when we were playing. Mm -hmm. It's only it was only afterwards when I was like, oh fuck, which yeah. is often oh. the case. Yep. Um, I played the council with my mother, uh, who I don't know if people have noticed this, but uh, I'm a Sega Dreamcast controller. My mom is a Sega Saturn controller. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's fun. <laughs> so the council. A really weird ass game in the bane of Telltale. Um, my mother at one point called a woman a whore, which wow. was alarming. <laughs> but uh, we had a great time. Uh, Damn. Just uh, George Washington shows up at one point. It's like, is that George ass Washington? Mm. Uh, Mal, how would you describe Virtual Family Kingdom that you oh, and I played? Oh boy, just an online fever dream. Uh, but and then it's almost like within the fever dream, you go into a deeper sub fever dream. This, this is this is a character in Second Life having a fever dream. Yes, that is so the it's like, best description I've heard of it yet. Yes, so it's like Dot Hat meets like the Disney MMO. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Actually, though, well, it's fucking it was a fun time recording. But why would you ever play a game like that? Dude, I don't like we, ha we have several viewers who I mean, commented I about their time playing the game. And from what they described, it's like, OK, I can kind of see why you played sure. this. It's I don't know. It's, it's with MMOs like you just kind of end up in an MMO sometimes uh -huh. is my understanding. <laughs> I've personally never played an MMO, so it might just be me. It, well, it my might. life experience of dot hack and sword art tells me that MMOs are dangerous. Ah, uh, yes. True. And, True. And, and hey, just so y'all know. Isn't that a Digimon too? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah that is Digimon. Yeah. We are going to. Oh, my God. I need to go change this music. Um, oh, we are me. going to go. <laughs> Track down Captain Harlock. At least I'm going to track down Captain Harlock at some point. So don't you worry. Movie, we played Little Medusa, game. which I discovered is is more or less a reskin of a different game. Star Blazers. Uh, <laughs> that came out. Um, oh shit! I'm even gonna look it up here. Uh, Little Medusa. Why? Super cute. Well, it's a lot like Princess Rem. Well, I don't know. We played them both fairly close, but they're mm -hmm. both eight bit like fun games, mm -hmm. like without a lot of. Well, it's not like a. Con I mean, there's conflict. It's more of a puzzle game than a conflict game, if that makes sense. Uh, and it's actually like you buy it physically. You can't get a digital copy. You buy it for the NES, the Genesis, or the Super Nintendo. And so it turns out it's it's really just it's almost a, like just a reskinned version of a game called Kickle Cubicle for the NES. I played Kickle Cubicle like forever ago. Weird. Yeah, yeah. It's which I don't know. I you know I, I I'm not sure the what the implications play. are, but. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought that yeah. was interesting. It's a very NES game, like very Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, Fiona and I play Puss. We, both... we don't talk about it. Yeah, it's we... fine. Yes, let's it move was, on. It was a... <sighs> I've never been on acid more than when I played that game. Oh, boy. Same. Uh, yeah, same. Uh, we also, Fiona and I played Princess Remedy in a world of Hurt, which was super cute and yep. super fun. It was a great little shmup. Yes. With fun. like a fun story. It was, it was. Is there a second one? Is that what you were? There is a second one. Yeah. We're going to play it on the channel at some Sweet. point. It's it's like a, Spoilers. it's called like Princess Remedy in a heap of trouble or something <laughs> like that. That's so cute. <laughs> and Fuck. I, I really like that naming convention in a something of something. Uh-huh. Uh, 
largely Chaz and I, and then Mal at the beginning played uh -huh. Yawk as a six. Longest Let's Play? Longest Let's Play. Longest Let's Play Longest. on the channel at 57 episodes. Beating out Nier Automata by, like, what, an episode? No, oh, no, no, no. Like by 10 episodes. It was, like, seven episodes. No, was it, that little thought was in his 50s. Autom Automata was 42. Oh, wow. Yawk as a six is 57. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was a good game. Yakuza games. Was Yakuza really games are good great. Game. Yeah, yeah. It was going back to some of the earlier Yakuza comments. Just very exciting and over the top. Um, it's kind of the end of this character's story, so it's interesting to kind of leaning into the whole like very end of the story deal, which is great. Um, just an amazing time, probably. And this one's got a baby in it. And it has a baby. This one's got baby. Ba I mean, baby. I bought into the Yakuza series because I watched you guys play them, and they looked right. hilarious, and they totally <laughs> are. Yeah, it's just so much fun. It, well, especially yeah, you having more time to kind of go a little bit more slowly. It, towards a certain point, we had a kind of gun line between uh, story missions, but being able to like just wander and do the ridiculous side stories. It's it's guy it's jumps a great out of a game. trash can. Uh -huh. yeah. Don't forget about oh <laughs> no, Michio Kun. <laughs> <laughs> seeing Kiryu dressed up in a mascot outfit, oh, like it's... like trying to sing a song in a karaoke bar, so that he can get like a debut album copy that upgrades his fighting stats, is beautiful. It's peak Yakuza. It's so uh -huh. good, so amazing. <laughs> we also played Monster Prom, yes. uh, which, which is also is really good. good. Yeah. yeah, we eventually all played it. it. It's just just a good game. It's in the the style of the Yog to the point where um, like they were in contact with one another the developers of this and the yog but it's in the style of the yog to the point where i'm almost worried that it's like they just it's fine anyways, it's, whatever. it's, it's, it's a super good game it's really fun it's it's good and it's if you're goofy. like monster hearts type person oh it's, yeah. it's your bag you should just go do the thing mm -hmm. y'all know you know y'all know what i'm talking oh, about oh yeah oh yeah you were talking about shadow hearts for a second there my brain was <gasps> oh like, my god we're talking that about furry no, we're not. Must mm. well, I mean, fuckers? wait, yes, yes, you totally are, <laughs> it's though, not Mal. Furry. I Mother mean, it's Fiona. kind of it's furry. I mean, it's kind. It's like, like it's whatever like vampire. Furries. Oh, Monster Hearts, the RPG. Yeah. Oh, you're oh. talking. Oh, okay. I thought you were just talking about monster fuckers in general. I was like, yeah, get in on monster this. fuckers no, in general. Speaking game, of monsters, which uh, has a good crossover to the monster fucker community. But oh boy, we're we're, we're trying to transition to a, tr a children's <laughs> horror game called Goosebumps here. To the so. first appearance. And Mario Chaz party. as a Mario furry. <laughs> no, no, we'll look at look at. Hey, there's look also at, others. Look at the icon Chaz is no, a furry. No, no, okay, hold on. We'll we'll we'll, we'll get the we'll it's get there. It's also a scaly. So Mal and I played Goosebumps oh the game, God. which is a children's point and click adventure game. That and I it's thought was really cool. fun. Yeah, it was good. It was pretty good. Yeah. Like I think ideally, um, it would have less inventory space. Mm. But you know, uh -huh. I think that's just sure. me. I think if someone was young and playing like a point and click adventure game for the first time, they wouldn't have cared. But oh, yeah. I was freaking out for so much of it because we ended up with, I shit you not, six pages yes. of like 10 items each of mm -hmm. inventory items and they were all usable still, it felt like. Anyways, uh, mm. we're gonna briefly discuss. First the, Ada, oh, ah. Our first of many themed sessions. Yeah, so for all the month of October, we did a horror game. Uh, which 24 videos. Yeah, we did it. Um, yeah, yeah. Every other day we released a horror game and it, I don't know. Was, I, I had a lot of fun. We played a lot of first person scary games, which yes. we don't get to do very often, largely mm -hmm. because Mal and Fiona get motion sick. So easily. motion sick. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but it was really, really fun scaring the shit out of each other. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. just go through real quickly um, uh, and just maybe, maybe point out some highlights. Uh huh. Uh, I really enjoyed playing The Unknown City, which is a horrible It was PS4 so game. bad. I played Slender, and I lock up when I don't understand things, so I was standing around a lot. Oh, boy. <laughs> which is not a great thing in a Slender game. Pony uh -huh. Island is hilarious and disturbing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I completely agree. Uh, Fiona and I just basically complained for all of Haunting Grounds. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, and then Fucking uh, Power Drill Massacre and Nun Massacre ooh, that's were the game to play. awesome. Yeah, those are awesome. I, the most scared I've ever been in a video game to the point where apparently when I get extremely uh -huh. scared, I go full Hokomaniac and start talking in a Hulk Hogan voice, brother. <laughs> you really do? God. I, I mean, that was that was a shitty Hulk. I, I can do better. See, I'm not scared right now. So right, like, exactly. <laughs> anyways. Yeah, you're not in the correct state. I, I had a great time playing that. Um, Baldi's Basics was so bad, Tony has never looked at the video. If you scroll up slightly, Tony, oh, see oh, how it oh. does not have a played status? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so bad that Tony didn't even check it after they uploaded it. 
Um, and then uh, we also took a look at a few other things. Uh, one of my favorites is the game Anatomy. Oh, yeah. Which Mal and I played mm. as the finale. And that's just a really good game uh, by Kitty Horsho, who's... Mm -hmm. um, She's kind of one of my favorite indie devs. Like, she has a lot of cool stuff that Little she makes Nightmares and releases was constantly. Kind of cute and charming and dark. Uh, fun fact: Mal and I also played Little Nightmares, but the recording got fucked up or oh, something. That's too bad. Ah, something happened. Oh yeah, that one was spooky. It was yeah. spooky. <laughs> I, I didn't like it. Uh, I did like Donut County. Well, uh, uh, if it's so, we're probably gonna do a horror <laughs> thing again next year. I'm not sure. It might be smaller. It might be the same size. It might be bigger. I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so we played Donut County, Mal mm -hmm. and I. Uh-huh. Uh, it was excellent. Ever since I have not been playing it, I have a giant hole in my heart through which I drop garbage. Yeah, it's... Raccoons are so cute. They're I thought so raccoons cute. were cute before, but now that I know that they get their hands stuck in jars because they want the pickle. <laughs> oh. yeah, sure, real raccoons. Mal's that, like, yeah. I've done that. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> I've done that. We've all well, been the, 100%. We've all had yes. our hands stuck in the pickle jar at one point or another. I am the raccoon with a hand in a pickle jarriest of all of us. Yeah. I wonder oh. if I can get you an enamel pin of a raccoon in, with its hand in the pickle jar. Yes. I'm just not realizing the reason yes, that we you don't. can. Um, <laughs> The reason we don't see Chaz nearly as much is because Chaz and I were so busy playing Yakuza 6. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you guys just played year. Yakuza 6 for like nine months. <laughs> well, wasn't Chaz on vacation for like three months or something? I was too? also, yeah, no, there was also no. multiple weeks of things. But even mm -hmm. so, like... We had regular releases during the entire time you were yeah. gone. I guess Street Fighter Chat wasn't that long. Oh, oh, there's a big gap that I'm not in because I had voice surgery and couldn't talk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's a big gap where I'm not because I died. Well, okay, so we all, we all have various inconveniences such as... Life. You know, vacation voice surgery, death. Mm -hmm. uh, Chaz, uh, Jen and I played Sea Shroud and Shadow, which is a Japanese-only game that was never localized um, outside of Japan. It's like a kaiju disaster report style game. It's, yeah, it's from the guys that made Disaster Report, which is a ridiculous game already. Kind of in the vein of Yakuza, but like Yakuza mixed with like survival elements, so you're like eating things and like trying to not lose... Lose You're your like health. existing in the city, and the city is that city where all the kaiju are fighting. Ah. Exactly, and so it, it's just great because got a lot of really cool licensed characters, like a lot of the Toei kaiju, uh, the Evangelion uh, guys, nice. a lot of the helping uh, people with their fruit stand. Like it's just, <laughs> it's, it's, just like it's hilarious. Time. It's a good time. It's, it's just a hilarious like. Just an amazing game. It's really good. Uh, Fiona and I um, are just about done with Dark Souls Randomized, Dark Souls. Um, which has been really great. Uh, I mean, we're, we we finished recording as of the time of this recording. Because I'm a disgustingly huge Dark Souls fan. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> and, and so this was like super fun for me. Yeah, yeah, it was like super fun. All the item locations were, were randomized. Is that was the dealio? Um, and we're gonna play another Souls game next. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, just keep an eye out um, on our Twitter page, our Discord if you're a patron, and our Patreon page if you're a patron. Um, if you're at the three dollar higher thing, you will get a vote. Thing. I also a fan of any of my let's plays have heard me talk about mashups, and there's a mashup game of Metroid, uh, Super Metroid, and Link to the Past that's also randomized, oh. and I am like. I, I really want to do it on the channel. Interesting. Huh. We're, uh, ba basically, we're gonna we're gonna keep it. We're up gonna have some fun shit. with some stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have mods. We're gonna you're gonna Shake be able to up. vote on it. Like it's gonna be super fun. Mix it. Uh, Mal and I are in the middle of snipper Fuck. clips right Snapper now. Claps. Snoop. Snipper clips. Snooper dupes. Mm -hmm. Uh, just yeah, just a super it's cute fun so game. Fun. Where I basically am at my very worst and Mal is at yes. the very best. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Agreed. I have I have never been so vile as I have been in that video series. It's true. Like, mm. I think if I were to show that to my pastor back when I was a proper catalog, uh Catholic. <laughs> I'm a catalog, but I think yeah, that I was means gonna something say else. Same. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, well, shoot. Oh, shoot. I guess I'm still Catholic because I said Jesus. Fuck. Um, <laughs> No, Just say different. fuck, no, that's different. and it'll get rid of the Jesus. <laughs> well, I mean, let Jesus yes. say fuck. Okay, sorry, we're we're getting very distracted here. Anyways, L G S F. I'm wild. Uh, initially, Brian, uh, Chaz, and I played Duck Game. Fantastic, another Duck great game. couch co-op game. And then uh, Chaz and I are right now just in the middle of um, playing quite a few. Uh, Multiplayer-ish games yeah. before we get on to our next dealio, which is exciting. Mm. Um, I'm I'm really excited for y'all to see what we have coming up there. So that Ooh, I know I'm I, now I want to. Yeah, I was like I don't You're know what this know. is. I'm, I'm gonna show you. I I'm love show you mysteries. This. Okay. Uh, but you'll you'll you watching at home or on the subway or in your 
basement or mm -hmm. uh, which I guess is different from your home. Whatever. No, You'll see you it's later. The same. Uh, so we talked about the things that we played on the channel, but so we're just gonna do a few little questions. Such as what is our favorite game that we've played on the channel this year? And mm. I will begin yes. by saying my favorite game uh, is fuck. Wait, oh shit. I, Your I thought favorite I wrote game this. is fuck. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, no, I had this for a second. Oh right, it, right, that was it. It was Dandara. Um so oh, the, yeah. the reason my favorite game that we played was Dandara. Uh, is that I had just beaten it and I felt like I was pretty good at it and I felt like I knew what was going on it, and like usually in LPs like I, I'm just kind of winging it constantly and like we're a moment away from like having to cheat or having to mm -hmm. make a big cut or something but I felt really good in control the whole time it was just a really fun LP to actually play and talk about so I don't know for me my favorite game that I've played this year has been Dandara oh yeah what about the rest of y'all? Who's next? Why? Why me? <laughs> I didn't. You know. Well, I liked Undertale. Yeah. So. Um, there you go. Because it was still, it was good to have a guide. It was an amazing game. Just enjoyed the hell out of it. Mal's voices made it just like, mm, just so good. Thanks. <laughs> no, like seriously. Aw. Yeah, Aww. super good. Yay. Um. Fuck. Well. Damn. Did, we are. We did. We've recorded this video before. It's true. Yeah. No. But now I've th thought more about all of the games, and oh. it's hard to choose things in general. Uh, but I really liked uh, Donut County and Monster mm. Prom and What Remains of Edith Finch. All right. Do you, do you have there a favorite you know. of those three? Yes. I don't fucking know. You, you don't. You. I can't make decisions. I see. But, but I mean, Incapable. it sounds like the common theme is like games that are good succinct experiences that have like meaning in them mm -hmm. and like a fun mechanic and like cute art style yeah it's not hard to please me <laughs> there you go uh -huh. <laughs> i think my personal favorite this year was a uh, city shrouded in shadow yep uh partially i'm sure because of the novelty of having it not being in english and uh -huh. trying to fumble your way through it but also just the ridiculous phone tone i think that's up really well to a, a fun lp it wasn't the prettiest. It was definitely janky, but uh, just just a, a, a joy to play through and a lot of ridiculous shouting. And at one point, you have to like escape things on a horse. It's great. Wow. <laughs> I, tr the truth is that I knew Chaz's answer was going to be Sea and Shadow, and that this probably before. because we recorded this before, and that probably was going to be my answer. So wow. I, I also had a great time with Sea Shroud and Shadow. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that. What is the fa our favorite games that we've played, regardless of the channel or or on the channel? Like just our favorite game that we've played this year And I will begin once again My favorite game I've played this year has been Pyre Which I know is a last year release But Pyre, like it's Like I played it like a couple weeks ago Um In my opinion is a medium Elevating game It's It combines so many things And it does a lot of things that only video games can do In it's storytelling Um and I actually bawled for there, minutes. There's, there's a little tiny tear in your eye right now. I know. You can't see it because of the shitty resolution of my webcam. Uh, that's way far away and not designed for that. Yeah, it's like right here. Just poke my eye, Mal. No, poke it. Like, really touch it. Ah! Oh, no. I was, I'm was. i not actually going to touch your eyeball, Tony. Anyways, I, I really liked Pyre. <laughs> yeah, oh, what about the rest of you? Um, my favorite game I played this year was fucking Stardew Valley, which I think came out like four years ago or some <laughs> shit. Yeah. Uh, but I love it because I get to fulfill my fantasy of being a gay farmer with a goth boyfriend. Yep. Steph. What's his name? Shout out, yes. Shout out to my gay boyfriend, Sebastian. Sebastian. Gay goth boyfriend. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Very good. And all of my other boyfriends and girlfriends <laughs> in Stardew Valley. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I played an absolute crap ton of modded Minecraft this year. Oh, hell yeah. I spend so much time playing it. It's... And Factorio, shout out. But, mm -hmm. like, I just, I like the type of games where you can kind of build things and achieve it and, like, yeah. optimize. And I don't know. That's the type of game I really enjoy. Hell For yeah. Sure. Uh, my favorite game this year would probably be Red Dead Redemption 2. I know it's a bit of a cop out because it's been very popular all over the place. But, what? Uh, Wait, no, it's good just games a good game, game, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's really great. Uh, weird pacing, right? Where it just it's it's slow, but like intentionally slow. You're not going to do anything quickly, but the things that you do do have a lot more impact, I think, than in a lot of games where <laughs> do you just do. press A. <laughs> <laughs> games that we're looking what is forward that even like? to next year. I'm looking forward to playing Devil May Cry 5. <laughs> 
Uh, for the eighth year in a row, I'm looking forward to Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, Sekiro? Damn it, I always forget the name Sekiro. of it. Sekiro. Sekiro is one of the ones I'm super looking forward to. And Crystal Chronicles, the remake, ah, because yes. I am super gay for Crystal Chronicles and always have been. There mm -hmm. you go. So many. A lot of great games coming out in 2019, but I think uh, the two big ones kind of hitting me are both nostalgia bombs. Uh, Resident Evil 2 and Ace Combat 7. Oh, I'm really excited for both of those also. It's, it's going to be another good year of games is basically what's going to happen. Which is fucked up. Like, it was a great year for games this year. It was. It's going to be another good year next year. Uh, so I think that's just about it. Do we have any closing thoughts before we go to our final little segment uh, on the year of 2018? No, it's a pretty good year. No. no. All right, well. Um, fuck it, it's gone now. Fuck it, it's gone now. Good riddance uh, to bad rubbish. Yes. Uh, so uh, as I said earlier, <laughs> uh, this is the re-recording of this video because we had a technical error that made the last video pretty fucked up. But quite a bit of the audio is still there from the previous one. So please enjoy right now. Uh, a special <laughs> gift giving session it, um, as much as you possibly can with our faces stretched down to our navel oh don't worry I'm using a still image ah, <laughs> oh wait beautiful. unless I'm not it should just be You're like not. a slideshow of, of title uh, cards or something yeah right of, of stills just, from don't worry, the horrible video. I'm going to hand <laughs> illustrate this next uh, Ooh, sequence ooh animate it alright anyways Ooh. please enjoy bye. bye bye do I get to open my gift Oh, I forgot. Oh, okay. <laughs> so so there is the a thing. gift. I got Malaga. Uh, content Cons warning? Question mark? Yeah, content yeah, warning. Absolutely. I will say. Do you know what it is, Chaz? Oh, it's maybe something special. So, <laughs> so Mal, once again, totally open it right now because it's not what you think it is. But having said that, it is a sex toy. Oh my God, Tony! I guess content warning for those under eighteen. <laughs> If you're under 18, just tell your parents you're watching oh this. Oh my god! <laughs> open it, open it! No, I refuse! It. It's it. Sorry. <laughs> the viewers that are over 18 <laughs> need to know. Oh! You can't show that on television! It's a Knuckles Unless Eakin. it's a movie, a terror movie with a fuzzy Sonic. <laughs> it's a Knuckles Eakin, the kid in an action figure harkening back to a classic press A to gay joke of fuck Knuckles. <laughs> I got you a sex a, toy, Mel. It's a knuckle sphere. <laughs> oh. oh, beautiful. All right, I think you all are all beautiful. Thanks Thank so you guys so much. And please click on the Patreon link in the end card of the description. Look it over and uh, consider donating. It really matters a lot to the channel. Uh, yeah, happy. Well, we're excited to keep talking, so see you that later. That is the yeah. one time. <laughs> that is that is my New Year's resolution completed, is I will mail the extra one time. Really Never good. again. That was really good. Was good. <laughs> guys, guys, the spikes what? on his gloves. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Ouch! That hurts my body! Oh, it's beautiful! Oh my god, Tony.